Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for July 21st, 2021. Well, yesterday we had kind of an interesting day where we up and down and sideways and chopped around quite a bit, but at the end of the day, the bulls remained strong, holding the market up and continuing to push and extend this um, relief rally in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these chart conditions and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, this bullish move has been unbelievably strong um, considering all of the speculation that we're getting on earnings reports. Um, we are up more than 1,700 points in the Dow Jones itself in just the, these few trading days. And what that has done is that has broken through the downtrend here to the upside. Now, if you guys have watched my videos before, the, you know that's always a good sign when we break through a downtrend resistance. But the real positive sign is when we rest, consolidate, or pull back and actually prove to hold it as support. Because we've seen before, well, we'll break a resistance level, we'll break a trend and then be unable to hold that trend as support and then the sellers come back in and those folks who over trade in here or chase uh, the market higher tend to get punished quite a lot if they um, if it doesn't happen to hold if it were to slip now there's no evidence at the moment suggesting that we will slip but we do know we have a lot of data coming our way today that can have some market ram ramifications. So be kind of careful. Now, if we pull back, we want to try and hold on to this price support. We want to try and hold on to this trend. And we want to maintain this little upside move that we've got going in here. We should also be very watchful and respectful of the significant resistance that we have in the chart just above. So that could be a little bit of a challenge for the bulls to push through unless we get some really good data coming our way and that's certainly possible with so many earnings on tap today and um, economic numbers um, that um, well could also surprise to the upside so let's um, take a look at our technicals here in our chart technicals have improved as well notice we have our price above that 50-day moving average so once again we need to see that price holding up here proving we can hang on and then we start moving up and attacking other levels in the chart however if I do mark out this little trend one of the things you might want to notice in here is that the the absolute possibility that we could rest or pull back for a longer period of time so to reach that trend now that doesn't mean we can't um, create a steeper trend in the market but just just know that the, the more we steepen the trend usually um, the shorter duration that trend will be so can it kind of watch that closely and think about that carefully let's take a look at our SPY SPY also moving up nicely here um, in the uh, big big five-day move here to the upside breaking the downtrend in the chart holding on to some price support in here is going to be the next step that we want to see this do a um, little rest a little consolidation that holds up in here um, sets up that next opportunity that we could move to the upside we will want to also keep in mind that if those bears do push back um, and and drop us back below that trend um, uh, that um, uptrend break then we'll want to be paying attention to levels down in here for that hold in the market because remember markets can go three ways up down and sideways and we'll want to keep an eye on all three and then keeping in mind that we still have significant price resistance of uh, levels above in the chart that we'll have to challenge um, if we can continue to move on higher if we look at our qqq now nasdaq is where there has been just tremendous um, excitement about earnings it, it is a phenomenal thing to see um, so many people willing to risk money on such uncertainty um, ahead 
um, in these big tech earnings reports. Um, we've seen from Google, Microsoft, um, um, Apple that they're going to reduce hiring, um, which means they are having being affected by um, the economic conditions of the market. But there just doesn't seem to be any willingness of folks to wait. I have to hurry up and buy something here in this market because, oh my gosh, I'm going to miss out. Well, be really careful here, guys, as we approach uh, more resistance levels in the chart. And remember, next week we're going to start those big tech earnings. So keep a close eye on that. We may be a little bit overextended in the short term, and I wouldn't want to chase this at the moment. There is that high possibility that we could pull back or rest in anticipation of those earnings events. Um, but let's also watch carefully. It's not out of the question to see this bullish move extend and continue to push on through um, um, just in the face of all of that risk of those potential earnings reports. So I would I would caution to not over trade here and to remember if you have some profits, take it because we could see this market really swivel quickly if we happen to get some bad big tech earnings report so be careful there if we take a look at our technicals here again our technicals have improved pretty dramatically and we have that that possibility with these crosses above the 50-day moving average that we could see those rounded bottom breakout patterns develop here in the chart we have this nice upside trend and we have a bit of a price support in here um, right around that 50-day moving average so i think the nasdaq itself is one of the strongest looking charts right now in the market. And a rest or pullback really doesn't hurt anything here at all. Gives us some nice opportunity to work from if it can hold those areas. And I think at the moment, that's still a pretty big if. If we take a look at our um, IWM, IWM also nice and bullish, holding up strong, pushing through those resistance levels in the chart, pushing through um, um, some resistance right in here. Now we need that proof whether or not we can pull back and hold or if we can hang in to that area, hold on to that upside trend as we try to determine whether or not the earnings are going to be good enough to support these prop um, prices. Um, and we also have to keep in mind we've got a GDP number um, around the corner next week with an FOMC rate increase. Um, coming as well. So we've got some data points that can still be some stumbling blocks in the market. So think about those carefully. And, and once again, you know, if you've got good profits in the market right now, uh, take some of those profits just in case, just in case um, we have some kind of a sub substantial um, pullback. Um, on the way. So just watch carefully for that. I'm not trying to predict that. I'm just su suggesting as we approach resistance, we're kind of extended in the short term that that possibility does exist. Our technicals here in the chart also showing lots of bullishness in the chart and that hopefulness that if we do rest and pull back, that we will hold that support level in here, hold that upside trend. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at our VIX, VIX has been kind of interesting here in the fact that we have moved so much in this market. And although the VIX has pulled back, it's really not, it really has not pulled back as much as you might think it should with such, um, you know, well, with the 1700 point uh, move in the Dow. If we um, draw a nice straight line across here, you can see there's still that possibility we could hold on to this price support here in the chart. But the good news is, is that we are continuing to move in this downtrend here um, in um, our VIX and we have broken that little upside trend that we were working on here um, in the VIX. So just keep a close eye on that. Fingers crossed that the bulls can continue to follow through. Um, let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 probably gives us our best clue that we should be taking some profits and be looking for that possibility of a pullback. Notice that we kind of peaked here yesterday as we uh, pushed on up here uh, very strongly. So we've kind of peaked here in T2122. And if you look back, there's never been a time ever when T2122 hasn't signaled a potential pullback in the market that it hasn't worked. Not once. 
Now, what it does tell us is that it, it also shows us that possibility. It doesn't necessarily mean that we have to collapse back down. We could just consolidate or rest up here um, in the market and we can hold up in this area. But we, sh we should be thinking about some profits, some um, um, uh, maybe uh, reducing our risk for a potential pullback in the market because it does indicate that that's likely to occur in, in today or the days of uh, ahead that that could occur in the market it always does it may take a little bit longer than normal but it always produces that uh, pullback in the market so keep an eye on that and that's one of those reasons i continue to caution make sure you're taking some profits now if we find reasons for bullishness here today in the data we could certainly continue to hold up in this area but let's also keep in mind that if we find inspiration for those bears we have a big open hole here where the bears could push down into here in that area so we shouldn't be all that surprised if that does occur if we um, take a look at our t2107 i gotta tell you guys t2107 is still one of those concerns here in the market now we know that a lot of the stocks out there have our 50-day moving average well below the 200-day moving average but as you can see here um, those stocks improving above their 200-day moving average continues to struggle here in the market so while we are getting select stocks moving up and we're getting a lot of stocks moving up out of very deep oversold conditions we haven't really improved here on this metric. So keep an eye on that. We need to see a little bit more effort coming into um, a, a wider section of the market to really start to improve uh, this one. Only 19.5% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. If we look at our T2108, however, T2108 has seen a substantial improvement. We've seen a lot of stocks coming out of these very um, deep bottoms um, in the market however we still have not proved whether they can hold that new high that they've pushed through those 50-day moving average we still have that rest or pullback that needs to occur to prove that they can hold it and hopefully this time they will because we've seen so many of those disappointments in this bear market where we'll pop up there we really start to extend out and then bang that next data point comes around and pushes us all the way back down i know don't, don't want to suggest that that is going to happen just that that possibility exists and make sure you're preparing and planning carefully um, just in case it does occur now keeping in mind we still have this significant downtrend here in the chart that we're dealing with and you know quite a bit of price resistance out here in this chart so watch that closely now our t2101 trying to improve just a little bit on um, what it's showing us um, because we've had just a just a modest increase in some of the volume here in the market it's showing us that we are getting a little bit of that momentum um, um, here to the market to the upside but we also want to recognize that there um, is significant resistance in that chart that we'll want to be paying attention to as well now if we take a look at our index charts you'll see what I'm talking about um, our volume although we have rallied substantially our volumes creeping up ever so slightly but doggone it it's just not super strong here um, in the market so we would like to see a little bit more backing and backing in here um, from those um, uh, volume conditions to really start to show that major support and momentum in the market so still be a little bit careful let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now today on our economic calendar we have a um, couple things that could certainly move us around um, if you remember yesterday we had some pretty dismal numbers over here mortgage applications were ugly existing home sales were ugly um, and we'll want to kind of keep that in mind that those metrics in the market are still showing weakness here as we approach our jobless claims that have been slowly kind of creeping up here um, in the market so watch that one carefully and then we've got the philly fed manufacturing number that we'll want to watch both of those are substantial market movers and both come out before the bell we 
we do have uh, natural gas numbers, which certainly can be, you know, market moving, but probably not to the extent. It'll be largely ignored with all the earnings and things today. And then we do have the Fed balance sheet and some bond auctions. You may want to kind of keep an eye on some of these bond auctions. This 10 year might be of interest here today. And then also um, remember that we've got the PMI flash tomorrow and be prepared as we slide into this week. Next week on Wednesday, we've got the FOMC and then we've got a CPI number uh, coming our way as well. And uh, many are suggesting we it will show us recession. So how the market reacts to that, I don't know, but kind of keep that in mind. If we um, take a look at our earnings calendar for today, we have a a relatively busy day or well our busiest day so far this earning season with about 70 companies listed on the calendar some of the notables here this morning and I won't be able to cover them all guys but if you want to catch the full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list let's take a look we're gonna hear from companies like AT&T this morning looks like AT&T is feeling a little bit bearish um, here in the pre-market we're going to hear from um, Auto Nation here today, so keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from old Domino's Pizza. Um, it's been in quite a rise in anticipation of earnings, so that'll be an interesting one to be paying attention to today. We're going to have some more financials out there, um, like Fifth Third Bank um, will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Intuit Surgical um, today, so keep an eye on ISRG rallying up nicely here again, popping through 50-day moving average. So this earnings report could be important. Will we break on through that resistance? Will we pull back and hold um, support levels in the chart maintaining this trend those are those are the questions that we still have to answer here in the market we're also going to be hearing from like Philip Morris today and um, travelers insurance so those are some of the notables and you can see we're getting um, lots of price movement and, and things around um, those earnings reports this morning. So keep a close eye on them. Let's take a look um, um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment on the channel. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Um, and thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do it. I, I know every, doing it every day is just kind of monotonous and I get it, but I truly appreciate the support of the effort that it takes to put these videos together and put them out. So thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are truly, truly awesome. Um, let's take a look at a few stocks um, out here here that are looking pretty good and, and I'll tell you there was some interesting moves um, yesterday that showed up in cannabis um, take a look at um, stocks like CRO and Crone cannabis had a big surge up here and as you can see we're working through uh, this 50-day moving average albeit very very volatile price action big strong surge here in Crone yesterday a little rest or pullback is what we'd want to look for in that chart prove that we can hold support look for those next entries and we saw that in a lot of places Places. Um, I'm not exactly sure what inspired um, cannabis to get going um, yesterday, but it certainly did. Uh, TLRY pushing up here, breaking through some resistance levels and up through its 50 day. Uh, we've got MJ, the um, MJ, the um, uh, cannabis ETF, breaking this long term slide to the downside and popping through. Um, we still have a 50 day moving average up here that we need to, to try and break through. And just keep in mind that cannabis has been very, very volatile. So um, don't rule out that possibility of a pullback. As you guys know, I've been talking about that possibility UPS for quite some time here. And UPS following through finally, we 
did need quite a little bit of rest to um, come back out here to this trend and we're going to see a lot of that guys as we as we spike up and rally sometimes we need a longer term consolidating rest to uh, prove that we can hold support build enough uh, bullish energy to continue to push on through ups is doing that and looking pretty good as you guys know i have been mentioning etsy over and over and over and over and etsy following through and i want you to note here guys that what we had to do in that consolidating move here we had to come back and test the trend before we moved higher that's something that we're going to probably see a lot of as we develop this bullish market if that bullish market continues to develop these are patterns that we're going going to have to watch for and respect because if you jump too soon so for example this happens a lot P folks will jump right here they'll buy into this they set their stop loss too tightly the stock pulls back finds the trend they get stopped out and then reverses to the upside and i don't know about you guys but one of the worst things that happens to me in trading is not the missed trades that i make it's when i get shaken out of a trade that i get into that goes ahead and i was actually right on direction overall and it went to the upside so we have to respect this price action in the chart respect those trends just like we respected resistance in the downside of the market respect price support and price trends trends that will help guide you to some better trading in the market let's also take a look at some others uh, Qualcomm Qualcomm um, really surging here to the upside I think um, what I would wait on now is some rest some consolidation here in this chart and we do know that it's going to report here on the 27th so be careful that's another thing I want to continue to mention here guys we've got a massive week of um, earnings coming our way next week lots of big data points will be coming out so make sure you're checking you're not chasing into something that's about ready to report because oftentimes we get that really really good um, entry signal that occurs just before that earnings event and if it happens to disappoint well there you go um, it can get pretty darn painful take a look at snow um, I've been talking about snow as a possibility here in the market for some time and here again we had to rest quite a while here in this chart nice consolidating move here in the chart we may have found our trend here you can see nice bullish candle here trying to push on through if that can follow through and pop up into here then we have that opportunity that that could be moving on up so there's quite a few stocks like that trying to come up out of bottoms but remember pay attention to those earnings events pay attention to all of the economic events that could still be pretty substantially market moving so with that everyone um, i want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading day thank you so much for watching and being here and supporting the channel i truly appreciate it and i will see you guys right back here bright and early friday morning have an awesome day